What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle DePepe. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at uh, Soul Invictus, uh, which is basically the rebase token on Solana. Um, if you go to the website, which we'll just cut to right now, the biggest thing that you will notice is that the in price is getting absolutely crushed. No, I'm just kidding, um, that's not actually what we're looking at today, although that is true. It's that the APY is 0%. Um, so if you're new to the crypto space or have been in the crypto space and just aren't aware, the majority of messages for a lot of these like protocols, companies, whatever you want to call them, applications, NFT projects is usually through Twitter or Discord. So one of those two mediums. Um, and I, I, I am in their Discord and that's where I did see this, but basically when they tweet, it automatically also sends out like a notification in their Discord. They also just have announcements in their Discord, but either way. Um, if you don't want to get or join Discord, which I would recommend, um, you can also just go to Twitter. And if you go to Twitter and go to InvictusDAO, which is their Twitter Twitter handle, um, you can literally see, well, the, the pin tweet is from the 25th, but it does say the dawn of a new day, the forum for InvictusDAO opens all, blah, 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 blah. So you can see this stuff. But what is more important is if you scroll down to the next tweet from 16 hours ago, the dawn of a new day. Locked staking is coming to Invictus Dow. Read below and see how locked staking impacts our soul. Did you get all that? You can click on this Medium article and it explains everything, but I'll also explain it briefly in this video. But right under that, it says, please note, APY will be 0% for 24 hours as users select between lock staked in and staked in. So what is going on here? Ooh, real quick before we dive into this uh, Soul Invictus stuff, if you guys are enjoying the content or like any of my other videos or end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, really helps me out. And if you want to go the extra mile, support me on Patreon, $5 a month, you can cancel at any time, you get access to my Discord. Uh, I try to do like live voice chats at least once a month if you have any questions or just want to talk about crypto in general. Um, you can obviously also just type in the general chat channels about whatever is going on. Um, and uh, yeah, just trying to build out a little bit of a community there and always appreciate people who appreciate my content and want to support me. So yeah, back to Soul Invictus. So first and foremost, um, somebody did comment on one video that when they went to the Soul Invictus website to try to connect their wallet, which I haven't done yet with this new, uh, new deployment of code. Um, so as you can see, APY is 0%. I am logged into my phantom wallet. If we click select wallet and go to phantom, it will probably ask me, oh, nope. So it just connected easily. I didn't have to reapprove anything. So A, always make sure you're at the correct URL. Um, a lot of times I like to go to like their Twitter and click on the link right there. That way it's the link that they have provided. Um, I'm not accidentally clicking some incorrect or a slightly mistyped link that's advertising in Google or something, um, or go to their Discord, click a link from there. So obviously if you click on this, it does the same thing. It automatically goes up to this page and you can click launch app, which obviously launches the app. Um, and you can see my wallet is connected and it should load my balance. So from here, you can see daily income is zero. And that's because right now there is no APY. And the reason obviously we saw from Twitter is because they're doing this new update. And the reason for this update is because what was happening is due to uh, sort of, I guess, the benefits of the Solana blockchain, AKA fast transactions, cheap transactions, uh, there aren't like crazy high gas fees like Ethereum um, and also constant rebasing of Sol Invictus versus eight hour rebasing of things like Ohm or Olympus Dow on Ethereum. Um, what people would do is on the side here, you can see these, uh, these bond discounts. And whenever there was these discounts running for like USDC, USDT, what would happen is people would basically unstake their in, uh, sell it for USDC, and then they would buy more in via these bond discounts. And what this does is it puts downward price pressure on the price of in, which is negative for everybody. And the reason people do this is because, well, if in is trading at $60, right? And maybe there's a 10% discount for these bonds, right? What that means is you can get in instead of at $60 and you buy one, you can now buy 1.1 in for uh, what, $54. So now you're getting more in tokens uh, because you can buy them at a cheaper price via these bond discounts. So due to the fact that there's basically, you know, zero dollars, no cost for tran for uh, yeah, transaction fees on Solana and super fast um, transactions in general, people would unstake, sell in at $60, the current price. Then they would basically convert to USDC 
Um, they obviously have a little bit of price risk in this time, but then they would just rebond right away using USDC, getting in at a discount, and now they have more in that they can then turn around and stake. Um, and this put, obviously puts downward price pressure. So to defer people from doing this, the idea is that um, they will be launching what is uh, locked staked in and staked in. So locked staked in will be getting the full and maximum APY for uh, the constant rebasing. If you don't want to lock your staked in, then you can just do staked in, which will have a lower APY. So people could still, in theory, uh, just stake in and then sell it and do this bond discount to buy more and then restake it. But what they're saying uh, in these tweets is that with uh, staked in, and the bonding, they will make sure that whenever the, those two are happening, whatever APY you're getting from staking and then selling that to buy in at a discount via bonds um, will not be more beneficial than just leaving your uh, staked in locked. Hope you followed that. Uh, basically saying that if you if you lock your staked in, uh, that will be the best possible outcome for accumulating more Invictus tokens. Um, and if you do lock, there is basically a five day window where if you want to unlock those in order to sell, you have to wait five days. Or if you want to skip that five day wait period, you can basically pay a 10% fee. So say you have 10 Invictus tokens that are locked staked Invictus. If you wanted to unlock those uh, and didn't want to wait, uh, instead of getting 10 full tokens out, you would get nine tokens out because of that 10% uh, fee that you would have to pay. So that's why it is showing 0% APY right now. Um, I guess there's probably, I don't know, another eight or nine hours left before they'll have sort of these staked and lock staked pools. So basically right now it's allowing you to go in here. You can go to the stake page. Um, you can unstake. So you can unstake and wait. Um, or you can stake and lock in. So right now you can see that it's showing that my balance is zero. If I want to unstake, uh, I guess it's also zero. I'm not actually sure what's going on, but I clearly have in. Um, so maybe there's still some bug, but either way, I'm just going to wait right now and sort of see what happens because I'm a little unclear as to where I would pull my money out. So the point is they're doing code updates. Um, they're basically implementing this locked staked in pool type of thing. Um, in order to not put as much downward price pressure on in every time they offer these new bonds. So hope that was a long way of giving you a short answer. So <laughs> if you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any uh, questions or just want to see other videos or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I also have a Patreon, so be sure to check that out. I uh, have a little Discord channel, do some uh, voice chats, uh, share some calculators that I make for NFTs and other various stuff. So uh, if you're interested or want to just support my channel, uh, $5 a month on Patreon, you can cancel at any time. I uh, would really appreciate it. It uh, really helps me out. But if you don't want to do that, just give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.